I learned something here this past week and actually uh, in some way became a Roanoker and I'll show you how. Oh. So uh, in this final Tasty Tuesday of 2019, it's appropriate that we showcase a place that's been around for about nine decades wow. now. Save some room for chili and a cheesy Western. You know where we're going to Texas Tavern. Texas Tavern recently awarded the best diner in Virginia by the Food Network. I don't ever take that for granted. I always appreciate it and always love it. I try to let everyone know uh, about our story. And that story dates back to the early 1900s. My great grandfather had been a, a, an advance man for the Ringling Brothers Circus in the early 1900s. So in 1930, he uh, came to Roanoke. In the middle of the Great Depression, Matt Bullington's family shook hands in a parking lot. Six weeks later, a dynasty was built. You can come in here and it looks virtually the same as it did 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago. From the menu featuring all-time favorites like their Texas chili or a cheesy western to most of what you see when you walk in. The counter, the foot rail that's been worn through by tens of millions of shoe leather, you know, grinding it down every, through the years. Bullington calls it a quirky place, but it's the authenticity that's kept it running for almost a century now. All walks of life come in here. You know, white collar, blue collar, no collar. And Eric Spencer knows that more than most. I oftentimes eat by myself by getting to know the countermen. I never ate alone. For nearly 40 years, Spencer has made this his lunch break destination. For me, it was admittedly my first time taking in this Star City staple, which is a good thing. Otherwise, I might have gotten in some trouble. There still is a city ordinance on the books that says if you live in the Roanoke Valley longer than a year and don't come to the Texas Tavern, we can get a warrant for failure to appear and impersonating a Roanoker. <laughs> so 